Hi friends! So for today's video, I might actually want to recreate a makeup look that I've seen on Instagram. Um, I'm not too sure if you can see is this, is this one here. <laughs> now, let me see. If I just go onto their profile, I do apologise that I cannot pronounce their name and I don't want to be extremely disrespectful. I don't want to offend anybody by completely butchering their names. So I'm going to put their Instagram on the screen here and I will link a list it down below in the description box. So yeah, we're just going to get started. I've already prepped my lids with the P. Louise eyeshadow base, by the way. And I'm not too sure if you can tell, but it literally took me about literally five minutes not even i don't think to do my brows today i've done something completely different i literally just used a wee pen to do my brows today and it was honestly so so quick the first palette i'm going to be taking is the roaring hearts from ColourPop, and i'm going to take lost gen which is this sheet here i'm going to be taking this on my zero one fluffy brush and i'm just going to start buffing this just within the crease Uh, what am I doing? I'm literally all over the place this morning, but I think I'm actually going to, yeah, okay, back to square one again. I'm going to take <laughs> these wee shadow shields here. So everyone, how was your Valentine's Day? Hold on, let me get this straight here. So I actually don't think I'm uploading this video until Friday, but basically yesterday was Valentine's Day <laughs> because I'm pre-filming so much at the minute, so yeah, it's a wee bit. I never really know what to talk about because it's always late with me uploading this video. <laughs> but yeah, Valentine's Day was yesterday. How did you just get on? Did you just get up to anything special? Did you just do anything nice with your partner, girlfriend, boyfriend, friends, cat? <laughs> me and Kyle done absolutely nothing yesterday. I didn't see him at all. Um, we literally didn't even wish each other a happy Valentine's. <laughs> that's that. That's how. That's how we are on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Literally the only nuts I was eating last night were from KP salt and vinegar nuts. Um, so yeah. And then just to deepen up my crease a wee bit, I'm going to take my 06 brush from my collection and yeah, I'm going to go into this shade here. You obviously wouldn't be able to tell because of my background. I probably, probably, <laughs> I probably will not be touching my background um, until I actually like completely move out because it's obviously my background for filming and stuff. But guys, I've started packing. <laughs> I have started packing. I'm not too sure if you can see, but I have shelves up here. Apart from this one here that you can see um stuff on it's the only shelf that has something on it because i have nowhere to put it yet but literally everything is empty <laughs> it's starting to kind of be a wee bit more realistic now you should see my living room downstairs everything is just in boxes it's just starting to really hit home and it's just starting to be more real now um my drawers everything is empty in my drawers apart from things that I know that I'm going to need from now until I actually do move out and then of course just my makeup I haven't touched my makeup because I probably will not be completely moved out until the end of March okay so as I've darkened up that crease I'm going to be taking a wee bit of the P. Louise eyeshadow base and I'm going to be taking this on my 05 wee flat synthetic brush and I'm going to Cut the crease. Just going to wipe off that brush a wee bit and just pat in. The excess and just blend the outer corner. Then I'm going to take my 04 brush and I'm just going to blend out these edges just at the outer corner. There we go. I'm going to be taking the Carnival 3 Love Tahiti palette and I'm going to use the Deep, which is this dark blue shade down here in the corner. And I'm also going to be taking this on my 02 brush. Yep, my 02. Sick. you'd think I'd clean it. <laughs> it's just like my wee pointy brush. <laughs> I'm just going to run this along the lash line just at the top for now. 
and I'm also going to wing it out as well. This is like the perfect brush to really create a shape on the lid because as you can see it does come into like a slight point so it's just really easy and good to like manoeuvre shadow around the lid. Whether it's on the lid or the lower lash line. I'm going to be taking a clean, well a somewhat clean 05 brush and also going into yeah, the deep shade. I'm just going to stamp out that shade just at the outer corner and going up onto the crease. Then back in with my 02 and I'm just going to give that all a wee blend. I actually love how that looks. So I used one of these products here the other day, I think it was actually my previous tutorial, one of the Sample Beauty liquid eyeshadows, it was the yellow one, so I actually got quite a few of these on the Black Friday sale on Beauty Bay, um, I'm not even joking, these were honestly so cheap, they were like 2 or 3 pounds, that's why I just picked them up, because um, I knew that they would eventually come in handy someday, so this shade here is called a Vigor, yeah, Vigor, <laughs> so as you can see it's nice dark blue, that actually goes absolutely perfect with the eyeshadow but I'm not too sure about that I think I'm actually just going to stick to my usual the one I always use and it's the Morphe gel liner in the shade vitamin C I'm not too sure if you can get this anymore but I love it it's such a good liner for not only the lid but like the waterline and everything so and I'm just going to stamp this on in fact Yep, no. <laughs> that smells like shit. <laughs> that smells so bad. That's clearly for the bin. <laughs> so do you know what actually? I'm going to take the Summer Beauty liquid eyeshadow and I'm going to use this as my eyeliner. And again on my 03. Okay, so once I have that liner down, I'm also going to go... Okay, so once I have that liner on, I'm going to take the blue shade and just go over it. Just to kind of set that eyeshadow. That liquid eyeshadow, by the way. Oh my god. That liquid eyeshadow from Subtle Beauty it dries down completely, by the way. But I still want to put a wee bit of something just over it to make it a wee bit more intense. I quite like that, actually. It's actually looking quite good. Okay guys, so that's both eyes done and I'm just going to be taking this Makeup Obsession eyeliner and it's in the shade Hot Mess. <laughs> I put on this eye a wee while ago and it doesn't seem to be staying that well so I think I might actually end up putting on the Something Beauty like good eyeshadow on my waterline closer to the end of the tutorial. But we'll see how that goes for now. Oh, by the way, full face of a Makeup Obsession coming next week by the way so keep an eye out for that. I'm going to prime using the First Day Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. <laughs> My favourite wee primer. I know this can be, it is a wee bit pricey though isn't it? It's like 20, 30 something pounds for this which to me that is a tad pricey but if you're looking for a literal dupe for this primer go for the 4th Ray Beauty Hello Sunshine Colourpop brightening priming moisturizer it's basically exactly the same only a fraction of the price i'm so excited to be finally trying this so i got the new be perfect cosmetics foundation sent to me in pr i have three shades here i have m3 w3 and m6 so this is m3 which is definitely going to be my non fake tan shade and then this is w3 which is also going to be my non fake tan shade and then we have m6 which is Hopefully going to match my fake tan, but this is the way it comes packaged by the way, which I actually really like. I love the fact that it comes in like the wee cardboard box. 
I love this. I think it's really, really nice and just kind of more of like a luxurious feel to it. Of course, do you remember that you can use my discount code for 20% off anything on Be Perfect Cosmetics. And so as I say, I'm going to be taking M6 and it just has a pump. <sighs> I don't even know why I bother saying that because like nothing ever matches me. <laughs> it literally wouldn't be one of my tutorials if my foundation did match my skin tone. Okay, I'm gonna take a wee bit of M3 and I'm just gonna put that on as well. <laughs> so it basically said that it's a weightless full coverage and matte finish foundation i have dry to normal skin and i have to say i wouldn't really be the biggest fan on matte foundations but they don't really bother me that much so i wouldn't take it that serious at the same time i don't like a foundation that's overly g um yeah it's a tad orange i'm just gonna say it for you do you know it's actually looking quite nice on my skin with it having a matte finish it hasn't seemed to dry down just yet so it just means that you have a lot of play time with it to give it a wee blend and everything and as you can see it still has like a nice wee shine come through so it's not completely matte i would say it's more of like a satin matte foundation but yeah it just looks grand actually <laughs> do you know what i have to say like i do have pretty good skin and most foundations do look grand on me but i'm gonna give you a close-up anyway to see or to show you is how the foundation does look on my skin and it was very very easy to blend out as well by the way i'm just not sure on that color <laughs> Although watching you, right, it's orange. It actually is orange. But for concealer, I'm taking the HNB Soft Focus Airbrush Concealer in the shade 05N. So it might come across as being a wee bit highly unnecessary, but I'm going to put quite a bit of concealer on today. Just to kind of lighten up my face a bit. <laughs> For my cream bronzer, I'm taking the MUA Pro Base Foundation Stick and as you can see, I'm not going to take a lot of that, just like the tiniest wee smidgen. I don't really feel like my face needs warmed up, I kind of feel like it just needs a bit of a contour going on. So that my face doesn't look so much like a big orange moon. I'm going to use the Soft Focus Powder from H&B Cosmetics and I'm taking the shade 02 Translucent. I'm just going to press this in. Holy sugar. Okay, so lashes is gonna be fun. <laughs> because I've literally packed away my drawers. I have, I literally just have these lashes. So clearly just one pair of that left. I have the Be Perfect Cosmetics Jack Jusa eyelashes. And then I have my wee box of like, a lot of skanky, well-used, well-loved lashes. I don't know what ones to use. I'm trying maybe the Jack Jusa ones. See what they're like. What are these gonna look like? So I'm gonna be taking the Dior highlight palette and I'm gonna be taking these two top shades here. So me and Kai had date night the other night and we decided to go up to Belfast and we ended up actually going to a drive through like a drive-in, drive-through Chinese. <laughs> because we had actually seen like quite a few people actually talked about this place on TikTok. So we thought we would actually just give it a go and it's called Waka. And it was actually it was so, so nice. Um, we didn't get very much, however, because obviously we were gonna be like sitting in the car eating a Chinese. And we just knew that it was gonna be an absolute mess. But I ended up getting a starter as well. So I got the duck spring rolls. They were done on. <laughs> These duck spring rolls, I'm not even joking, I would literally go back to this Chinese for the duck spring rolls. <laughs> and then for my blush, I'm going to be taking this wee one from Colourpop. This wee one here, it's the Kiss and Tell Press Powder Blush. So for my bronzer there, I was just using the Doll Beauty one. I'm going to be taking this Juvia's Place lip liner. And then for my lips, I'm taking the Il Maquillage Matte Lip Cream in the shade Glory. And I do apologise that I'm using this because literally every time I go to link it, I can never find it. <laughs> Jesus!
I actually think I'm gonna go on and use a wee bit of the Summer Beauty Look at Eyeshadow. And then just cleaning that brush off. I'm gonna go into the deep. I'm gonna stamp that along the lower lash line. Then I'm taking my 05 brush. This is my wee flat synthetic brush that I use to cut the crease. I love using this wee brush to blend out along my lower lash line. So I just took some more of that shadow and I'm gonna give that all wee blend. And then taking my 02, I'm not going to take any product on it because as you can see there's still a wee bit of sahan left on it. But I'm just going to give that all a wee blend. <laughs> I think this is going to really like pill everything together. This is the L'Oreal Miss Baby Roll of Volume Mascara. Unreal. Oh yeah. <laughs> I kind of forgot to mention about the foundation. Um, whenever I was actually applying my powder, I was kind of thinking of this, but oh, sorry. Hold on, to kind of get myself comfortable here. But I did notice that the powder, the concealer, all that good stuff, like even the cream bronzer and everything, seemed to be going on top of the foundation. Perfectly fine, by the way. So yeah, and I kind of feel like now, everything, now that everything's done, I'm raw balanced out. <laughs> you know, I've concealed, I've powdered, I've added a wee bit of bronzer, a wee bit of blush, got lipstick on my teeth, that everything has really actually came together. The shade of that foundation was just completely wrong. It was N6 by the way. I love this, I have that link to list it down below for you. Just a wee bit too orange. Just a tad. But overall it was actually a really nice wee foundation. I will give it a go in tomorrow's video as well. I actually just kind of really see how I feel. But so far so good. It was actually a really, really nice. Right. <clears throat> yeah, it was really nice. <laughs> But of course, if you want to try it for yourself, I'll have it listed and linked down below in the description box, along with the discount code as well. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video.